Come here, get him. <laughs> Give kisses. Uh, what's up, guys? Um, a bit of a rainy day out today, and uh, have some things to do later, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to get the vlog done. Um, basically, well, first, if you are new, welcome. Uh, my name is Mike, but I write historical fiction under the pen name of Eli Kale. And I've been doing uh, a series on my writing process, and this will be number 11, I believe. And uh, today I'm talking about pre-order on Amazon uh, KDP. KDP stands for Kindle, Kindle Direct Publishing. And I'll get into the details of that, uh, and then uh, we'll see what happens from there. Okay, so by this point in the process, uh, you should have a very polished manuscript. It should be pretty much ready to go. Uh, if you're following the structure that I'm laying out in these videos, then you have read it through five times up to this point. Uh, so there should be pretty much nothing left to take care of, and that's why I saved the pre-order part of the process until this video, uh, because there are some things that you have to be mindful of and you have to be aware of, especially if it's your first time doing it. One thing you have to know about when doing pre-order, especially for your first time, is that Amazon has a policy in place that you have to upload your final manuscript uh, 10 days before your intended release. So for example, when I released my second book, Unguarded, I had a release date of January 24th. So that means that I had to get my final manuscript in by the 14th. When you do uh, decide to do a pre-order option, you, you will have to upload a file of some sort. So. By this point, if you, know, if you are satisfied with the manuscript as it is, then you can just upload that and then you can call it quits, but you can rest assured that if something pops up along the way in the back of your mind, you're thinking about it and you think, oh, you know, I need to change something really quick, uh, really small, then you can do that and, and re-upload the file. So that's not a problem. Uh, they just need something to look at you know, in terms of compliance with their, uh, their guidelines and their policies and things like that. Um, and then they also need information for the product page, the sales page. Uh, again, like I say, you can't, or the customer won't be able to, to buy the book yet. They'll just hit click for pre-order, but they can still see the title, the cover, the synopsis, stuff like that. Uh, and also, they won't be able to see any sample uh, text from the from the story. Uh, that's not available in pre-order. So you want to be sure that you are. Um, sure of your manuscript up to this point. So that's why I say this part of the video, or this part of the process for this video, because once you get your manuscript done, then you, you know, you can be sure, okay, it's ready, I'm not going to have to go back and spend another couple of weeks or whatever fixing something, it's ready to go, now I can be sure of the date that I want to set to release it. Okay, so here you can see a screenshot of my KDP. Uh, I, once you get in there and you scroll down to the subheading uh, number four, select your book release option. Uh, you'll see there that it says there are two uh, options you can choose. It says, I'm ready to release my book now, and the other one says, make my book available for pre-order. So you want to click the pre-order one. It's, uh, by default, it's on the first one. So uh, you'll need to make sure that you change that, and then it'll look like this. Uh, it'll, you know, uh, a uh, little window pop-up says set the release date for your book and then you can click the calendar there and, and pick a date and just for uh, you know whatever I picked uh, July 29th uh, that's just the date that popped up so I click that and then it pops up and this next one you can see it says you must submit the final version of your book by Sunday July 19th at 12 a.m. Eastern uh, East Coast time so that's that's what it was 12 a.m. Um, so here, you, I mean, this is where you want to make sure that you, you know, whatever date you want to have the the book sync to people's Kindle. So when they do pre-order it on the 29th, it'll be, and I believe again, I believe it's 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the night on the 29th. Then it'll be uh, on their Kindles automatically. So that's basically the whole process for picking your release date and the pre-order uh, process that goes along with that. So. Like I said, it's fairly simple uh, to understand and to navigate. Uh, I'll get into, I don't think it's the next video I'm doing, I think it's the one after, but I'll get into uh, certain things that you'll need to make sure that you have uh, in your manuscript. Not the story itself, but the, I should rephrase that, certain things you need to have within your file uh, that you upload. So you have your manuscript, which is the, the text of the story, but then you have to have other things, you know, you have to have a title page and uh, a credit page, front matter, back matter. I'll get into all that in um, two videos. Uh, the next video will be on promotion, I think. Um, but 
those things you need, uh, especially with an ebook, because you can link uh, to your website or to your Amazon page or whatever it is through your Kindle. Because people can, especially if they're the the newer Kindles, people can uh, click on those links and then go directly to the Amazon page to leave a review. Go directly to your website, you know, whatever whatever you link in the back of your of your book, pretty much of your file. So I'll get into more of that, but that's just the basic process for pre-order, and um, that's basically it for that. So at this point, once you pick your date and then you're pretty sure of when you want to get that going, um, I would say the next step would be to come up with a synopsis. So again, this comes back to your, your manuscript is done, your story is polished and ready to go. So make a synopsis, and I'm including a link uh, by Jane Friedman. She, uh, I came across this, this article she posted on writing a synopsis a while back, and I, it just really struck a lot of chords with me. And it's it's a good article, and she says a lot of good makes makes a lot of good points uh, in it. So check it out. I'll leave it like I said. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, but making a good, a good synopsis really will help your book stand out. Uh, you know, if people get past the cover, if that draws them in enough, then they'll see the synopsis. Then that's kind of the next step in terms of drawing them into actually re you know buying your book and reading it. And as you scroll down through the page on, K on your KDP account, you'll see that there's a place for your synopsis to go. It's, it'll actually say description, uh, but you can put the synopsis of your book. It's not necessarily a summary. Uh, a lot of people get that confused. A synopsis is, is supposed to just give the basic gist of the story and maybe ask a question at the end. Again, you can see what Jane Friedman says about, about that in her, her article. But it's different from a summary because a summary tells what happens in the story in a summarizing sense. Obviously, that's why it's called a summary. Uh, so, you know, you, you don't want to put a summary there. You want to make sure you put your synopsis there. Uh, but there's a place for that. So, again, as part of setting up your ebook on KDP, uh, because you'll need all that information uh, inputted in order to get your book in by that deadline that you set, uh, the 10 day before deadline. So, uh, just go through on your own time, obviously, and, and see what all you want to fill in. Some things are optional. Uh, you know, you don't have to have uh, like for print books, it's, I, it's an ISBN. Uh, for ebooks, it's an ASIN. Uh, so it'll automatically assign you one if you don't put one in, and that's okay. But like I said, just go through and see what you need to fill out. And a lot of it, again, is just common sense and it's very easy and straightforward. So to finish out today's blog, I would like to promote a book that I read. It's actually in college uh, a handful of years ago. Uh, it's called The Napoleonic Wars by Gunther E. Rotenberg, and uh, it covers the Napoleonic Wars. And uh, at the time, I was taking a class, I can't remember what it was called, but we covered um, the French Revolution, the rise of Napoleon, and that, that time frame uh, in Europe. And it was a book that I chose to read for a book report. We had to do a report uh, as part of our grade for the class. And uh, I forget how I came across it, but it, was, it turned out to be a, a great read. And I know I say that about a lot of the books that I promote, but it really was a great read. Uh, it, it helped bring the time period to life and the events that took place. Uh, in the book, there are uh, you know, countless pictures and maps that are, they're not, I don't want to say cartoonized, but they're, they're graphic uh, in a way that makes it very understandable. So they're not you know, photocopies of, of actual battle maps where it's hard to read or they're not in another language or anything. So it's very... Uh, very informative and very understandable. So if you're interested in the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte or uh, just anything about that time period, I would suggest this book. I'd, I'd really recommend it. Uh, and like I said, I'll leave a link in the description uh, to the Amazon page for that. And uh, that'll be it for today. So like I said earlier, uh, you know, the next mo <laughs> movie, yeah, the next video that I do will be on promotion uh, of various forms. And then the, the one after that, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to uh, uploading to KDP and different things you have to do uh, with your file there. So uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do that. I'm always looking to meet new people. And uh, if you liked the video today, please give it a thumbs up. And I uh, hope to see you next week. Thanks.